In this video, I'll set up the task pane to react to selections rather than just mouse events. I'll start off by creating a few picture boxes. I'm going to import some images that I have on my hard drive. Start off with the part and I'll name this pick part because that's the code that I have already in my form commented out corresponds to these names. You can choose any name you want as long as the code corresponds to it. I'll use the pick prefix and then the names are just going to be the types like SolidWorks files without the S SLD. So that's pick part, pick assembly, and pick drawing. Once those are added, I'll change their appearance based on my selections. So I'll create a little subroutine here. To start off with, I want to use a property to set them. So I've added a private variable that I set using this property interface, but when I set that variable, I am going to call set images. I could call set images directly from my code, but this way, if I make changes to how I want it to work, I can use the property to make the change instead of having to do it anywhere I call set images. Now this will work if I pass in the parameter for the part type, assembly type, or drawing type, then it will show the corresponding image. Or if I pass 100, then it will show parts and assemblies. So I'll save my changes and close this module. Now under event handling, I just need to add my model doc and I'll add SW model. I don't really need to do this because IA assembly actually is an SW model, but I like to have distinct names for them. First line, I will get my selection manager. Now I'll use an if statement based on my selection types. So first off, when I remove these, I'm checking how many items are selected. So if there's only one, then I'll handle it one way. If there's more than one item, I'll handle it differently. So I'll get the selected object, I'll pass it in, and then I'll update my task host with the type that I have selected. Now if I have more than one item selected, I need to check whether it's parts and assemblies or just one or the other because I could select two parts or two assemblies and still only have parts or assemblies selected. But I can also have a combination of them. So here I have a big if statement. If it has both, then enter 100, otherwise just the type. And when I have nothing selected, then pass in zero and it will clear everything. I also have to update my SW add-in to pass in the parameter for my task host again. And that's under my attach model doc event handler. My mouse event handler is pretty annoying, so I'll comment out the message box. So I still have access to the mouse events, but nothing is going to appear to the user. I'll start off by opening up an assembly from the assemblies course. If I select a part, I see a part. If I select an assembly, I see an assembly icon. And if I select both, I see both icons. If I click anywhere in the graphics area to deselect, no icons.